Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger, I hit the wrong, uh, Gunslinger's, <laughs> Gunslinger Airship Suicidal. Uh, fair warning. Uh, I went and got, I talked about it in the last episode, I think. I went and got my cannabis delivery today, and I ate part of it. So at the current moment, I am feeling... A little bit high kind of um, so I, I don't know what the commentary is necessarily gonna be like because I've, I've never recorded high I've never you know been high recreationally before um, so I don't I don't know what the commentary or the gameplay maybe I'm like a god gamer when I'm high so far it looks like it mostly doesn't affect me now the commentary will probably be affected by it uh, as I think it kind of already has I'm like kinda naturally a pretty you know high person um, <laughs> you know people tell me that I'm drunk or high all the time um, so when when I'm you know actually under the influence of something I think that I, I definitely it, it exacerbates the already existing problem of being uh, incapable of thought and stuff, you know? On the plus side, I was, you know, talking to my parents earlier, so, you know, it, it feels pretty good on that front. On the, on the downside, I forgot to record before I ate the chocolate, and now I have to record when I'm kind of high, and that's... I feel kind of bad about that. Uh, that was a lapse in judgment, perhaps. One that I may or may not do again. I don't really know. Get that dry mouth thing apparently. It's not really there for me. I have to pause to drink. <sighs> Normally I just drink while I'm playing. And that's why sometimes I stop moving. Uh, sometimes. Um, but right now I don't think that I have the motor skills and to, to handle that kind of responsibility. Um, anyway, so what does being high kind of feel like? Um, it kind of feels like I'm drunk, but without the drunk part. And I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's the only way I can describe it. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of something else that I can describe it like. But, I can't. Uh, it feels... Because if, if, you, if you've ever been drunk, you know, you get the feeling of like, you know, you, you try to do something, but you just, you don't feel like you can really do it as well as you normally can. And then you just kind of feel weirdly happy about it anyway. That's kind of what like it is for me right now. Except when I'm, when I'm drunk, I also get the feeling of like, I want to throw up and like, I can't. It, feel, it feels like I can't do anything. I don't know. When I'm drunk, I feel like I can't do anything and I laugh at myself because I'm, like, stupid. And then, right now, I feel like I can't do anything and I, I don't think that I'm stupid. I just think that I'm high. And that's kind of the difference there, I guess. I, it, it makes me feel less bad about myself for not being able to do things. It's not really funny. I just feel weirdly happy about it. I don't know, the, the, the best way I can describe it is that it's like being drunk but without the bad drunk part, you know? Either way, I kind of like it. It's definitely... There's no practical benefit to it over just CBD, which doesn't get me high, but just makes me feel good. I'm, I'm kind of able to manage myself when I'm, you know, under the influence of CBD. I'm just, like, more tired and relaxed, but when I'm on the THC stuff I definitely I definitely experience more of um, like a highness for sure um, so there's no practical benefit to it over CBD because they both you know let me talk to my parents and like uh, probably sleep and stuff but uh, THC also gives me feelings of not badness but just differentness so, THC, I mean, THC is also, like, more expensive. Uh, and my understanding is it'll, well, I don't know if it's my understanding, but it's a lot more noticeable when it hits you. 
um, and my, it, probably gonna last longer as well. CBD doesn't really last that long for me, just long enough for me to fall asleep usually. Um, but anyway, so I don't know that I'm gonna make it a regular thing to have it. I do have three chocolate squares, so it's definitely gonna be a thing that happens more than once. I plan for that, and I'll probably buy more going forward, but while it feels pleasant, I just, for me, the feeling of your, like, brain not working totally right is not something that I necessarily seek out regularly. I like my brain the way it is. I just sometimes want it to be a little bit more, like, tired. And CBD does that for me, and THC also does that for me, but THC also makes my brain kind of, like, weirder. And I'm, I think I'm weird enough. Anyway... Yeah, the moral of the story is that that's why my commentary and my voice probably even, like, sounds different and stuff. I don't really know. Um, but I'm high right now, so. It's weird because I get, like, weirdly focused as well when I'm, um, under the influence of either THC or CBD. Like, I am solely focused on KF2. I haven't actually looked at the... Normally when I'm recording... I like look at the preview every so often to make sure that I'm not muted or like that it's capturing stuff and stuff. And I just did now. Um, but I'm not really doing that. I'm like purely focused on the on the game, which is weird. I also like can't see things as clearly, or at least I don't feel like I can react to them as quickly as I can. I feel like I'm playing pretty okay, but that's mostly just because I'm really good at this game. So even when I, I have a penalty of being under the influence of THC, come on, let me go, don't make this comedic timing, dude. Uh, even when I'm under the influence of THC, I'm, I'm pretty much invincible. But definitely it feels like the reaction time is, is, is taking a hit. I don't know if you guys have been able to notice from the gameplay, but... Um, I don't know, like, I, I feel like I'm watching, like, a lower frame rate video. Not like everything is slowed down, but just, like, every... F I only get to see every few frames, like, my brain just doesn't process all of that information that's coming in. It's kind of what it feels like to me. I don't know, maybe I'm at it. No, I'm at 60 FPS. I need some more water. People talked about dry mouth, but I don't really get that. <clears throat> I mean, not yet. I took it like an hour ago, so I'm only like pretty recently feeling the effects of it in a major way. Um, so I, I don't know, maybe, maybe going forward I'll, I'll have more of a uh, experience with it. I don't really think that I get dry mouth so much though. I think I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm always thirsty anyway, so... I don't think it really matters. I hear a lot of stories about people who like drink a lot when they're high. Like water, not alcohol, as we're talking about. And then they can't go to the washroom because they're embarrassed to go to the washroom like a whole lot. And then they end up peeing their pants. And I'm, I'm thankful that that's not me. Because I already drink a lot and use the washroom a lot as a result. Wow, I'm just hitting the wrong buttons everywhere. <laughs> it's weird playing. It It's not more fun, okay? It, I, it's not more fun. I, I wish I recorded it earlier. Honestly, I didn't, I, I didn't really think I would be this affected by it. Um, I didn't take a lot, so I didn't think that it would, but it did. <laughs> it did. That's why I didn't take a lot because you know if I took, you know if I if I went in with the goal of being high, then I would have probably been sick. Um, so I, I made sure to go, you know, start start small, and then, you know, slowly experiment just kind of the the methodology behind edibles um, because they they can really affect you for a long time and in a big way. Anyway, that's a scrick. I thought that was a bloat. I thought you were a bloat. I'm like, why aren't you dying? I'm like, shooting you in the face and you're still alive, but you're a scrape. I understand now. 
I hope you guys don't hate it so much with me being high while I record, because that would really suck, right? Anyway, right. We, I don't really, it's not really more fun playing high. Um, it's not like less fun. I, I, I consider them to be equal levels of fun. But I consider my concentration on the game to be higher. I also consider it to not really be showing its effects. Because, you know, the concentration is higher, but at the cost of um, competency. Oh, um, no, we'll talk about, no, we'll talk about it, I'm like, how long, ten minutes, okay. <laughs> uh, it's like not even that unusual for me to be like that, oh my god. Uh, so I started writing last night, uh, I am, I am, I'm, I'm uploading it to Royal Road tonight, hopefully, I, it takes like a few days for them to verify it and stuff and then like make it go live. But I started writing last night. I wrote about um, Shara, who is a modern girl who likes colorful plushies and blankets, getting transported to another world and then meeting some weird man and he kind of shows her the world. I can show you the world. I don't know the rest of the song. Something, 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 and something. I, 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 Disney songs are really fun to sing, but I don't really know any of them. Oh, you're right here. Hi. <laughs> I can't. You, you can't. You can't give me this debuff right now, okay? When the screen goes invisible stuff, then I can't. I'm already having trouble enough aiming. Um, for him to also be making it harder for me to aim is undesirable, to say the least. I'm not going to be amazed if we manage to kill him, to be honest with you. Because I really am just spraying and praying is my current strategy right now. Because I don't think I have the ability to not do it that way. It's just, it's just, just kind of point in the general direction and then shoot, you know? And then he dies. I'm amazed we made it. Yeah, well, don't speak, don't count your eggs before they... Chicken? Hatch or something, I don't know. Oh, the CBD came with, like, a syringe. You know what I hate? Eh. Yeah, it's got a weird syringe thingy, which is cool, right? Um, to, like, pick up the oil and then stick it in your mouth. So that you don't, like, <laughs> sip CBD oil and just kill yourself. Um, cause that, that would be bad, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the HMS... I have no memory of what I was talking about before I went on the syringe rant. Uh, it's, right! Oh, yeah, it comes with so much plastic, and I'm like... Can we be more eco-friendly about this stuff? Like, it's just... I just don't want to... I can't shoot you all. Some of you have to live. Um... It comes with so much plastic, because, like, the, uh... The CBD oil came in a box with, like, a bunch of plastic tape on it to seal it and stuff. Which, like, okay. You know? And then... Uh, it was in a plastic bag. And then it was sealed with plastic. And then there was a syringe that was also in a plastic bag. And I'm like, that's a lot of plastic, dude. And then the three gummy, uh, the three, not gummies, but chocolates that I ordered. Um, uh, um, and they came individually, like, sleeved in these, like, tamper you know, resistant or evident things or whatever, um, bags. So it's like this giant plastic bag with, uh, with, with a single chocolate in it. And I'm like, I ordered three chocolates. You could have at least put them in one bag, you know, but 
they have to be like sealed up before they leave the factory or whatever because you can't be high out and driving and operating machinery and stuff right so there's like restrictions on it um anyway i'm like i just i want the can i want the cannabis i like the cannabis but especially the cbd but i want it more eco-friendly i want my eco-friendly weed you know and some one of my one of my pals my acquaintances as it were um said that it was kind of ironic it wasn't an acquaintance at all it was somebody i barely know it, they said it was kind of ironic or funny or something how they're selling a plant in a like super you know anti-eco-friendly packaging and i'm like that is kind of funny indeed because the packaging the plant is sold in is what's killing its ability to survive and thrive in the wild along everything else in the world including us as humans and people game feels like it's taking really long too. I feel like I've been here for like 40 minutes now. I really do. I don't know. It, it just, just it feels like it's taking so long. Maybe that's just kind of a side effect of being high. That it kind of like everything kind of feels like it just takes longer maybe. I don't know. It's my first time so um like, I'm not an expert on marijuana. I am a highly um, big fan of, of cannabis. And uh, espe especially CBD in particular. THC, I kind of rank around alcohol. Except it takes a lot less to get drunk. And it's a lot easier to get there. Whereas with alcohol, I'll often have like a beer or something like that. And then it, it doesn't really... I'm not really drunk at the end of it. I do kind of like feel some alcohol coursing through my veins, you know. Which people always say is not what I'm feeling. But I definitely do. I definitely do. It feels like this warmth that kind of flows through me. It's, it's a weird feeling. Um, and that's when you know that you're too far gone perhaps but um you know i can have like a beer or something like i can't you can't you can't really just sit down and like have a chocolate you know like the chocolate is is what finishes it for you you know like that's that's the start and the end of your night you know um i'm not doing your stupid thing i'm barely even hearing them like i'm in a i'm in a fugue state okay <laughs> what does fugue mean I know, I know how to use it in a sentence, I just did. I'm an expert on the word's usage, I just don't know the actual like definition of it. I, I, could, I could explain to somebody what it means, but I couldn't be like, yeah, definitively, like, this is the right answer, you know what I mean? I understand, it's, I don't know, like, I, it's, you're not in a state to, to be able to, to handle things, remember things, or whatever, right? Like, it, it's, it's that kind of like, blackout, drunk kind of thing you know except not necessarily from being drunk just in general because it's ex it's an existence of you being um not capable of handling the stuff what um anyway uh i know that but i could i couldn't tell is is a is a blackout drunk qualified as a fugue state are those i know that it's you know similar symptoms but it does fugue state like definitively mean like yes it has to be caused by this you know is it a symptom of a specific problem or is it just kind of a general um description of a specific situation that somebody could be facing as a result of any kind of you know mental health things such as you know stress alcoholism addiction to something or whatever i don't know what am i even talking about i thought you were a scrape i'm seeing things dude yeah, I see things normally. Alright, it's like a problem when I'm sleeping and stuff, you know? Especially when I'm sleeping. Not always, but uh, especially when I'm sleeping. Or not, like, about to sleep or just finished sleeping. I'll often, like, see things. It's like a... It's kind of like a... 
sleep paralysis, except I'm not paralyzed. I'm just, uh, like, hallucinating stuff. I'm pretty sore, too. I'm still wearing my hoodie. I gotta take it off. I'm sorry, I interrupted myself. Whatever I was talking about is gone. I don't, I don't have the memory for, for that. Um, also, sorry. I try to maintain a specific level of quality with my videos, and I really just didn't think I'd be this high. But I definitely am. I don't think, because I don't know if there's a, like, a, a, any kind of, like, crossover or, you know, correlation between the two. But I really can't handle booze. Like, I get drunk really easy, and I get really, really drunk. Um, I can have, like, a beer or two and, like, be okay, but I'll, I'll definitely be, you know, under the influence and, 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 and unfit to, to handle responsibilities, but I won't be, like, you know, drunk. Um, but, uh, I don't know if there's a correlation between, like, alcohol or, like, drunkenness and, and getting high, like, your tolerance to, to it. I don't know if, if it's like a, a tolerance to, you know, THC and a tolerance to alcohol or if it's just a general tolerance to anything that might affect your mental states. And I think my theory currently is a drunk individual, not drunk, high. I'm high. As a, as a high individual, um, is that it is a general resistance to anything that might affect your um, state of mind, and I have a very bad resistance to that because I get drunk really easy too. So I don't know, and I feel like I, I took like I didn't take that much, and it was definitely less than a lot of people say is what takes them to get high. But then it's also my first time, so that's like another thing too, right? That you gotta kind of concern yourself with where. It's my first time, so I, I probably, you know, my body hasn't had the time to build up the tolerance to THC. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's uh it's it's something that I always think about though the 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 tolerance, the, you know, your alcohol tolerance, how well you can handle your liquor or whatever is. I don't know if it's if it's if it's a mental thing or a physical thing, right? You could be you could be tolerant to to alcohol and, and alcohol like physically in your blood or whatever isn't really going to affect you or it could be a mental thing where you're just easily susceptible to changes that might influence your thinking and stuff um and that's that's my theory i have nothing to base it on besides the fact that i really suck at handling both and I'm like, there must be some degree of correlation there, right? Especially since they both kind of affect you in similar ways and through similar means. It must be a general tolerance to to um, these things. And there's always people out there who will be like, I can handle my liquor better. But, you know, I think that there's a limit, right? Because, like, at a certain point, you are just, like, clearly affected by it. and you can be like oh, I can still think through think straight and, and stuff and I just don't think you can you know I feel like a lot of people pretend to be sober when they're not and like do an okay job of it but rarely a good enough job because that's why you know people end up dying to drunk drivers and stuff but they do an okay job of tricking people but I feel like that's that's what happens it's another one of my theories, one of my conspiracy theories. This is a conspiracy theorist channel now. We discuss, um, uh, jet fuel and steel beams or something. Uh, and, and, uh, 9-11 was an inside job. 9-11 is a weird hol er, holiday. Not, not quite a holiday. Um, 9-11 <laughs> uh, is a weird day for for me as a Canadian because it still like affects your life because you know, your friends are American and stuff and uh, like the news outlets that you watch are American and stuff you know like it still affects your life but at the same time you're kind of just like yeah that really sucks but like at the same time well it, that's I'm not 
I don't know. You're kind of like separated from it, you know? You got the... No, come on. I'm so happy we managed to make that work. Good job, me. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk about sensitive topics when I'm high. It's probably a good idea, right? <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. Because, I mean, I did. Um, yeah, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.